It might not look like a promising sanctuary for wildlife. All right. But this biologist is determined to try. I mean, this is probably getting close to a million, maybe a million and a half eggs, if you actually went through and counted them all. Doug Swanston is part of a group working to create a home for herring, transplanting millions of eggs to a site where the fish once spawned. Historically, we had a spawn here in the 1800s. It was a source of food for First Nations communities. The fleets of the fishing companies compete for a share of the catch. Herring was once seen as a nearly limitless resource until overfishing crashed the stocks in the 1960s. 21.60. Since then, stocks have varied, but were down 60% in a recent four-year period. But still, about 16,000 tons have been caught in this year's commercial fishery. DFO decided not to listen to their own scientists. Or Indigenous communities and environmental groups have gone to court trying to halt the commercial catch. So, so this site in particular was a village site at one point? It was our summer village site, one of them. For thousands of years, the Tsleil-Waututh people have lived on these shores. Herring was a traditional food until they were largely fished out of existence. You only have to look up the west coast of British Columbia to see where herring still is and to see how Indigenous people harvest there. We did similar things and it was an important food source. The Tsleil-Waututh and other Indigenous groups are working to bring back herring to help the entire ecosystem. This is a more typical net. Vancouver's False Creek is the source of the eggs for the new transplant experiment. Years ago, artificial herring spawning habitat was created by a small group of volunteers hoping to help endangered salmon. The first thing a salmon looks for when it comes out of the river is food. And if you have a herring run right in that area, it's just perfect. You can bring the whole food chain back. If you start with the herring and work up, it can happen. Biologists say there are many reasons why fish stocks in Canada's Pacific Ocean are in serious trouble. You can see it's quite well covered with eggs. But rather than simply watch, some are trying to help. One tiny egg at a time. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Vancouver.